Hello, welcome to Curse Brains. In this following video, I will be showing how to install Prime OS using ISO file. First, we will create a bootable USB flash drive using Prime OS ISO file. I will leave the download link for Prime OS and Rufus in the description. You will need a USB drive with at least 8 GB of memory to create a bootable USB drive for Prime OS. We will be using Rufus application to create the bootable USB drive. Rufus is a free and open source portable application for Microsoft Windows that can be used to format and create bootable USB flash drives. The USB drive will be automatically selected in the Rufus. You have to locate your Prime OS ISO file. Just leave the settings as it is and start the process to create the bootable USB drive. As the bootable USB drive will be created, close the Rufus application and open Disk Management, where you have to create a separate drive to install Prime OS. In the Disk Management select a drive, from which you have to shrink at least 8 GB of memory to create a new partition for Prime OS. I will be creating 65 GB of partition, but it's not necessary to create a bigger size of a partition, you can create the partition depending on the number of applications you will be using on Prime OS. Once the drive is shrunk, just create a new partition out of it, by giving a letter and name to it. As the partition is created, close disk management and make sure your bootable USB drive is connected to your system, then restart your system to install Prime OS. The moment system restarts, just press F12 or the key which let you get into the boot menu, from where you have to select the bootable USB drive having the Prime OS. After selecting the bootable USB drive, you will be able to see several options from Prime OS, in which you have to select Prime OS installation. Then you have to select the partition, which was created to install Prime OS. Format the partition into the EXT4, then select Yes to confirm. Once the format is completed, select Yes to install EFI Grub 2. And in last you have to run the Prime OS. If everything goes correctly you will boot into Prime OS. As you will boot into the Prime OS, you will be asked to fill some personal info, just complete it and continue. When you will be able to see the desktop, just connect to the internet using Wi-Fi or cable. Once you are connected to the internet, 
sign in or sign up to a Gmail account, to install applications through Google Play Store. Hope I have explained each and everything clearly, leave your comments and doubts in the comment section, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for much more videos, and if you want to connect or contact us, just head over to below of the description, thank you for watching this video.